Hey, and welcome back to this week's episode of What to Eat. Today we're going to make some meatloaf. This is a great easy meal to make. A lot of people love meatloaf. You can use this dish for so many different things. It goes with anything. It's, it's a great hit at most parties, most family functions. Somebody bring a nice delicious meatloaf and it's very simple to make. You're only going to need a few ingredients. Today we have two pounds of lean ground beef, a medium size red pepper, a medium size green pepper, two small onions, you can use a large onion if you want, some breadcrumbs, I use Italian style breadcrumbs, any brand is, is good, any brand you prefer. My mix is a different mix of seasonings, I'm going to put the description down low, a can of tomato sauce, any brand you like, that's up to you. And that's about it. Oh, and a cup of water. You're gonna need a cup of water to put in the meatloaf. You're gonna, so the meatloaf won't dry out while it's in the oven. And three large eggs. Well, before we begin, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Leave a comment, or tell us if you tried any of our recipes, or if you have any recipes you wanna recommend. Just let us know. That's all we ask, and you can support the channel by purchase some some of our merchandise we have aprons we have shirts we have a little bit of everything hats uh, the name of the company is what to do entertainment please support the channel tell a friend tell anybody but now let us begin So, we already have our ground beef over here. First, we're gonna start by chopping up our vegetables. Let's start with the onions. The way you slice it or you do it, it's up to you. Whatever style you choose, you could dice it, you could put nice chunks, it's up to you. I like to put like, for me, I like to dice them because a lot of people don't like big chunks of onions or big chunks of peppers in their food. So it's like they're not even really tasting it. They just give the, flavor, the food a little more flavor. And the amount you put in is up to you. I don't put that much in there. So now that I got this, I'm gonna sprinkle some of this on top of. There we go.
Now, we're gonna bring this over here to the center so you get a good look at it. First thing we're gonna do, put our first egg in there. Second egg. And again, with the egg, you could add an extra egg, take away an egg, it depends on you. So we have three large eggs in there. So, we're gonna generously season it, because it's a lot of ground beef. And then same with the breadcrumbs. Don't go too crazy with the breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put the description below so you can see how much I use. Approximately, I'm saying. Then we're gonna use a whole packet of sazon. This is pretty much it. Now we're just gonna mix it, and maybe halfway through we're gonna add a little more seasoning. You want to give it a real good mix. So sure you mix that eggs and everything up. And, and again, this is my way of making meatloaf. You know, there's so many different variations of ways you can make meatloaf. You know. I like to get all the corners, like do it like in little small sections. So you can make sure you got everything. Key is to mix this up real well. So, then I'm halfway through. This is what I was telling you again. You want to take some more seasoning. Sprinkle it on again. Same with the breadcrumbs, just a little bit. And save some more breadcrumbs for the end, so you can put some on top, but there you go. Now we're gonna give it that last mix. Same thing, thorough mix. Glue it around, take little sections. When you have a, a large meat loaf, Put another half a pack of sazon in it. And it makes up the flavor. So that was one and a half packs of uh, sazon. Come together real well. And I think that was it for the mixing. Now, I like to do, I want to turn the meat loaf this way. So now we're going to form the loaf. So that's why it's called the meat loaf, because it's going to look like a loaf of bread. All you want to do is make it in the form of a loaf. Turn it around. I mean, you don't have to be perfect but you wanna make sure it's nice together so the egg will hold it all in place. That's why you put the egg in it. The egg will hold everything in place so it won't be falling off. Get the corners. Like I said, you wanna form it to make it look like a loaf. And then, 
once you got it looking like a loaf, you're going to take the last some more breadcrumbs. This time you just want to lightly cover the top of your loaf. That's it. Just to give it a nice crust on top and to hold the tomato sauce. This is how my loaf is looking. See? So all we have to do now, we're gonna put some water around the edges. Um, I'm gonna leave this in the oven for like two and a half hours. So in this pan, I'm gonna fill the water up maybe a quarter inch because the meatloaf is going to create its own juice. And then I'm just going to take this foil and cover it. Nice and tight. The cover has to be on nice and tight. Because if it's not on tight, it'll dry out. So now I'm going to put this in my oven. The oven is going to be on 350, so you preheat your oven. I already started my oven before I started the show. I'm going to preheat the oven at 350. You're going to leave it in there about two hours. Again, you can. some people can take it out sooner. Some people leave it in a little longer. It's up to you. I'm going to leave it in 350 for two hours. After the two hours, I'm going to take the foil off, let it brown for about the top is going to brown for like another 15 minutes. I'm going to take it off, uncover it, and just let it cook for another 15 minutes. It's going to brown the top. Then I'm going to take my tomato sauce, put it on the top, leave it in for another 15 minutes. Total cook time, two and a half hours. And it's done. I'm going to show you the finished product. Um, you know what? I'll come back when it's time to put the tomato sauce on give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll be back in two hours. Okay, now it's been two hours. We've uncovered the meatloaf. This is the next stage. What we're gonna do is just uncover it. This is how it looks. Let me eat it. So now we're gonna put it in the oven for 10 minutes. Let it brown on top, and then we're just gonna put the sauce on, and then it's gonna be done. So, we'll see you back in 10 minutes. Let me just brown it up a little more. 10 minutes. Cook time two hours and a half, two and a half hours. It's ready to go. So, we have the meatloaf, some mashed potatoes, mixed veggies today. So, thank you. That's it for today, and I'll see y'all next week. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you again next week with another amazing dish. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will always get an alert when a new video drops. Plus join our website for information on all our shows, trips and getaways. If you would like to support the channel you can do so by shopping at our store in the link below or visit www.whattodoent.com. This video was produced and directed by Putt Toxie and created at What To Do Entertainment Studios.